I am Megan Walker and welcome to the letter R in the A to Z of real-time marketing. So this one is all about real-time consent and we have actually landed on this page a couple of times already when we looked at O, the letter O for outbound marketing and the letter Q for questions on the preferences page. So this is actually in the same area and it's the first tab that we come to, but now we're actually going to go ahead and delve in and see what it's all about. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're in the real-time marketing area, but we are going to go ahead and switch. And we're gonna change into the settings, and then we're gonna to go to the compliance area. All right, so like I said, we've come to this place a couple of times. Now we're on real-time consent. So this is the real-time marketing area consent, as opposed to the outbound marketing area consent, which again, we looked at in the letter O. So if I go back here, all right, so, I am not a lawyer. I am not advising you legally on how to do anything. I am telling you what this does. So this is entirely up to you to discuss with your marketing team, to discuss with legal, your organization, whoever you need to, to review your GDPR policies. That is all up to you to do. What I'm showing you here is the fact that we basically have two options for a consent model. So we can see here that we have a drop down for restrictive and non restrictive. And then it shows us what each of those means. So restrictive is basically saying the customer opt in is required for sending commercial emails, text messages and behavior tracking. Double opt in is not currently supported in real time customer journeys. So if you set this to restrictive, so, for, so if you think about um, the consent levels in outbound marketing, where we had things, you know, uh, like the transactional, we had like subscriptions, marketing, profiling, all of those different things from zero to five. So what we're saying here is restrictive is if you have the consent model set to restrictive, you won't be able to send anything to anybody unless they've gone through, either you've manually done it or someone has gone through and basically um, clicked on a link from an email and then updated the preferences page that we showed in the letter, sorry, yeah, preferences page that we showed in the letter Q when we talked about the questions on those, that preference page. So if you set it to restrictive, you are basically saying, we're following the policy if someone is needing to opt in for you to be able to send them stuff. Again, I'm not advising, but to me, that should be the case. Somebody should be opting in um, rather than non-restrictive is unless they opt out, customers will receive commercial emails and also their behavior is going to be tracked. Um, however, text message sending, that does require customers to opt in first of all. So non-restrictive is about emails and tracking. Restrictive is basically saying they have to opt into all of those things for you to be able to do them. Okay, so again, entirely up to you. Um, the transactional emails that you send, they will go out just like they will in outbound marketing, even if somebody has opted out because it is an email that is critical to your relationship with them as a customer. So the business that you are doing, there's a business need for this transactional email. It's about their bill, it's about the service that they get, um, it's about downtime of your um, something that you provide to them as an organization. So the transactional emails, they will not be um, factored in, which is why it says commercial emails. Okay, so we can set restrictive or we can set non-restrictive, okay? Then what we've got um, further down here is um, get tracking consent from customers. All right, so if I go back to this preference page and I go ahead and preview the page. So again, we looked at this in the letter Q, so if you've not watched, you can go ahead and watch, uh, watch that one. So you see right here, I agree to share my interaction data to improve the quality and relevance of this service. So at the minute I have that on the real-time consent tab, I have that set to yes. However, if I change that to no, and then I save it, and then I come back to this page and I refresh, that section has now gone. I am basically saying, right, I am not going to um, uh, allow them to, I'm not getting tracking consent from customers, I'm basically then saying, what's the default tracking, and I could then say, track them. Again, I am 
not a lawyer so I'm not saying yes you should do this or no you shouldn't that's entirely up to you to make that decision but those are the options that you have so you can say I'm going to track everybody and I'm not going to ask them or you can turn it on and say um, I'm going to ask everybody or I'm going to set it to yes actually no so there's a couple of different options that you can choose the other piece that's on here is if you think again from outbound marketing perspective in the um, uh, the consent settings area you need to put your address and that is something that's required when you're sending out commercial emails so the same thing an address is required on a commercial email but for real time you're putting it here so you're basically adding that and for um, a commercial email that address has to be at the bottom of your emails so when you're sending it out you're gonna need to make sure that that is on there so real-time marketing the consent here is what consent model are you going to use are you then going to ask for email tracking and text message tracking are you going to set a default for that and then also making sure that you have your organization's address in here on the company address section in the um, content compliance area so make sure you're setting those up because those are definitely going to be needed once you start doing your customer journeys so if you've got any questions or thoughts let me know in the comments below thanks Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.